Hello. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to reship a data set downloaded from Bloomberg Excel adding uh, to a usable panel data for future analysis. So here I have an example data set downloaded from Bloomberg. If you do not know how to download data, please check out the, the previous video of mine. Um, obviously, this is not a panel data because we do not even have a fixed time variable. Um, to make it simple, what we want is exactly something looks like this. So here in column the, in column A, we have an ID could be the firm ID or bond ID or stock ID. Okay, and in column B, we have a variable named year or date, and also we have some uh, variables as well. So that is what we want, and we want to convert the previous one, the original data from Bloomberg, into something like this. Okay, so. Uh, you may just reship the original data using the following steps. So here I list some some steps here. Just follow it, and finally you will get the get a normal normal panel data. Okay. So the first step, I'll put it here. So the first step is try to uh, remove redundant years because if you look at the first first row. You may find that sometimes you download two columns for for one year, so I suggest you remove the the the, the earlier one, okay? the earlier ones we say. So for year twenty sixteen, you remove this uh, December thirty, and uh, simple sim similarly, uh, we remove this uh, December twenty nine. Okay, and then that you have unique values for for every, uh, for each year. Okay, so this is the first thing in, in step one. And second, rename these years as year 2016. So that, that means you need to re rename it as year 2016. Similarly, year 2017. Okay, year 2017. 19, 20. 21 and 22. Okay, that is the second thing for step one. And the third thing for step one is to drop column C and only keep column B. But actually, you can just uh, you can drop column B and keep column C. That that is the same. And we drop column C. Okay. Because column B will be the future uh, variable names. That means this this variable names. Okay, so that is column B. Okay, and the, the last thing for step one is check and remove column J. Okay, so if you check column J, it looks like it's a, it's, a, it's blank, but it but no, it's not. So here we have some values. It's redundant, but I I don't know why it is here. But I, normally I just uh, remove it. Remove it. Okay, and that is all about step one. And then step two, just importing into Stata. And please make sure that you use the first row as the variable name. Okay, so click File and Import. The first one is Excel spreadsheet. Sheets. Sheet. Okay, that is the, uh, the sample. Make sure you take this box, import the first row as variable names. Okay, and just click OK. So look, we have like, oh, sorry, I forgot to save the, save the Excel file. Okay, so please do remember to save it before you import to, to save all, all, all the changes. Okay, save it, and then import. Okay, so we have like a variable, uh, variable name A, B, and several years. We do not have the uh, column G adding 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 anyway. Okay, that is uh, our step three, uh, step two, and then step three, rename column B values. Why? Why we need to do this? Because as I mentioned before, this column B will be the future variable names, but now it contains space. 
and also some like uh, some signs, some symbols like the person uh, percentage percentage sign here, right? So that cannot be a, a variable name in Stata. So we need to remove uh, rename them. Okay, I have a way to do this very 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 quickly. What you can do is just copy these variable names because they it, they repeat themselves, right? They repeat themselves for the, another company. Okay, copy these names and paste. And then just manually input their new name. So that could be like ROA or ROE. Okay, and then just run this command. Commands. Okay. So now. We have replaced the values, the values in, in column B, with something like which is suitable to be uh, start a variable names. Okay, that is uh, step three. And step four, before we do the final step, please check the data. So make sure it is uh, uh, variable variable A, variable B, and some years like year twenty sixteen, year twenty seventeen. Okay, and in column B. We do not have any space or any any signs. Make sure you do that. Okay, no space, no sign. Or you can just tab B. Okay. And the last step is just apply the following code and you will get the final final version. Okay, so copy it for the following code. Okay, so here we go, we have something. Like, like looks very nice, all right. So it's the so the for the column A is still the the firm ID, and column uh, this column year is variable year is just the fixed year time variable, and also we have some like uh, other variables 